for me, radiology, uh, when I was going through my medical school rotations, I realized fairly quickly that I loved knowing about all the stuff, but I didn't really want to do the stuff. So I loved surgery. I loved knowing the anatomy of surgery, but I didn't want to sit in the operating room for seven, seven hours for a case. I loved uh, maternal fetal medicine and I loved seeing how an embryo grows over time, but I didn't really want to deliver babies, or, but I loved knowing the knowledge. And it was stumbling on radiology that was like, wow, I get to know all of this and I get to know the anatomy and make a huge impact in patient care. Um, so it was sort of the perfect fit and then it sort of honed in. I've always been a neuroscience person and then I discovered neuroradiology and it was like, wow. I mean, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, this is it for me. So I think the educational assets that the RSNA has online are robust and they're the best quality. Uh, they're, they're subject matter experts in every field. Uh, whether it's the radiology and radiographics articles, now all the new journals that the RSNA has, they're amazing, the artificial intelligence, imaging cancer, um, and then the recorded lectures. I mean, all of these things make us better. And I use them routinely. I, I'm a, a sort of online learning junkie in that way, and I talk about it all the time because I really feel it can make you better. This is a vetted, high quality area for content. You know, you can really get in the weeds once you start going online and you don't know where this content is coming from and the people's credentials and all this. You have 100% security with the quality of content on the RSNA online uh, tools. So I always point trainees in the direction of the RSNA online assets because I know the quality. I know the people that are doing it. Um, and it's sort of the best of the best.